What do we need? A people's day. What do we need? A people's day. What do we need? A people's day. Thank you. We've come here to say that we're fed up with that reality. Not only to say that we're fed up, but we're here to change it. That's we right. are young, right. we are old, That's we are right. white, yes. we are That's black, right. yeah. we are brown, yeah. and we're here yeah. to tell the Federal Reserve that all communities, let me say that one more time, that all oh, communities yeah. deserve good jobs yeah. and decent yeah. wages. Yeah. Yeah. Federal Reserve Bank is the single most powerful uh, agency that has to do with the economy in the United States. Their control over interest rates and the regulation of the banks really has an incredible effect on the economy and on people's lives. It affects wages, it affects jobs. Federal Reserve Bank presidents and directors are supposed to represent the public, but they are overwhelmingly white, male, and from corporate and financial backgrounds. In fact, there has never been a bank or a Latino Reserve Bank president in the history of the Federal Reserve System. Trying to get more people amped up and aware about the fact that this institution is the most powerful institution probably in the world, and we have no say. The American people have no say over what they do and how they do it. We are here to make sure that the Federal Reserve knows that we are paying attention, okay? We yes. expect them to make decisions that prioritize the needs of the American public, not the special interests of Wall Street and the banks, all right? All right. All right. We right. will not accept regulation without representation. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, I graduated from college with a business degree, and it was like really, really hard for me to get a job. A job that would like pay me enough to actually take care of myself. Definitely struggled with underemployment. And the last full-time social service job I had, they had budget cuts to the program, so I ended up losing that job. And then I've just had to pick up 10 jobs to be able to survive, to make it. Um, right now, I do housekeeping. I make $9.50 an hour, um, about 30 hours a week. We had a meeting yesterday with some of the presidents of the Federal Reserve to discuss what we're here for. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. I actually got a chance to speak out about how I felt about what the Federal Reserve was doing in terms of trying to raise the interest rate. It was a really powerful experience. The economy has recovered from much of white America, but for black and Latino workers, it is not. If you decide that we're at maximum employment now and you intentionally slow down the economy, you'll be leaving us behind, pulling up the ladder right after you've climbed it. Why not test the bounds of maximum employment? Why not push the economy as fast as it can go so that black and brown communities can finally benefit from real wage growth too? You raised a whole bunch of really important points and I agree with you on all of them. Your points about the communities who are still struggling, people who are still out of work and have been out of work for a very long time, wages not growing as much as we would like to see. Yo sufro robo de salario. Yo soy una persona que trabajo y me pagan solo ocho horas. Y trabajo 12, 14 horas, pero eso no cuenta. Ellos me dan solo lo que son ocho horas. Y hay mucha discriminación por mis rasgos latinos. Para mí, todo el que trabaja, no importa el obrero, el constructor, el que trabaja en restaurante, el que hace el delivery, yo creo que merece respeto y dignidad. I'm a part of a really impacting campaign to help change the economy in favor of people like me. This is one of the most powerful campaigns in this country, so I'm just waiting to win. No somos minoría, no somos un número, una estadística, somos millones y que somos fuertes y que nos ayudemos. Ese día vamos a hacer no va a haber nadie que nos pare.